I'm director of the Centre for Behaviour Change at UCL, and this is a centre that not only uh, does interdisciplinary research, but also does a lot of translational work. Um, so we do training, um, we have an MSc, but also we do quite a lot of <clears throat> policy work. So in terms of my role uh, during COVID, um, as has been said, I was on the uh, UK government's advisory group. Um, also, I'll mention uh, something called Independent Sage, which is a really interesting model of scientists communicating directly with the public. Um, I uh, also worked uh, for the WHO um, during COVID and uh, Lancet had a commission um, and uh, the, the papers uh, published that came out of that commission. OK, well, <clears throat> starting at the beginning, you know, why is behavioural science so important? Uh, it's at the heart of causing and transmitting uh, pandemic in infections, but also so many other existential threats, uh, sorry, um, climate emergency, antimicrobial resistance. Um, but also it's at the heart of preventing and getting out of them. But that does mean understanding behaviour in its context in order to be able to develop effective interventions and policies.